For an example on the type, level of detail that an arrow carrier's op specs can contain, we can look at op spec A10, which refers to the sources of aeronautical weather data that the air carrier is permitted to use. <clears throat> In this op spec, we can see with SkyWest Airlines, they have a variety of different information sources listed where they can obtain weather data for their flights. However, I want to take this opportunity to point out that each source that is approved has to be listed in the air carrier's op specs. For example, they cannot just begin to use CNN's weather data or the Weather Channel or, for example, the Aviation Digital Data Service. That's even a pilot weather source, but if it's not approved by being listed in the air carrier's op spec, then the air carrier cannot rely on, rely on that as an information source to make decisions about its flights regarding weather. <clears throat> and you notice below we have some different vendors listed. For example, we have Meteorologics Vens Notam listed down here. We have Meteorologic also listed as a vendor for terminal and route data and forecasts obtained by the National Weather Service. And it says that their staff develops and issues forecasts called RAMTAFs and that they also are able to vend weather charts. And then we have another vendor listed here called WSI. Each of these vendors was approved for information for SkyWest Airlines. And we're going to talk briefly in a bit about what a RAMTAF actually is. So if we look at now a smaller air carrier, here's Dynamic Airways information from OPSPEC A10, and it doesn't have as much detail. Uh, you'll notice here that it says that our system allowed to um, disseminate the weather data and receive the weather data is listed out in their general operations manual in Chapter 4 and in the System Operations Control Manual in Chapter 3. So this air carrier has elected to not put as much detail in its operation specifications, or perhaps the FAA's Principal Operations Inspector, who is reviewing and issuing these op specs for the air carrier, didn't require that same level of detail that the other airline was required to provide in the previous example from SkyWest. And this is, again, just based on the FAA office that the air carrier is going to work with. Now, let's talk a bit about what eWINS is. So this says that the certificate holder is authorized to use eWINS to obtain and disseminate aeronautical weather data for controlling flight operations. What eWINS stands for is Enhanced Weather Information Systems. And what it allows the air carrier to do is to essentially contract writing weather forecasts for its operations by a source other than the National Weather Service. For example, this airline had contracted it out to Televent DTN. So if the air carrier, for example, operated to a smaller airport, say for example, Punta Gorda, Florida, or Lakeland, Florida, and there was no terminal aerodrome forecast or TAF available for that location, the airline could make a request to Telvent DTN for a specific TAF. These are called RAM TAFs, and the forecaster there at the vendor develops that RAM TAF and sends it to the dispatcher or the flight follower, who can then use it to make operational control decisions. At some larger airlines, uh, such as Delta Airlines or United Airlines, these airlines are going to have their own in-house meteorological department. They have meteorologists on staff. They can produce their own customized weather forecasts, and they are allowed to make their own forecasts, then use them for their operations. And Dynamic Airways, for example, they were allowed to order the weather. Essentially, it's like ordering, dial the weather, get the weather. Um, however, if that weather was... Um, more restrictive than what the airline, um, if that weather that they ordered was more restrictive 
then they could not just use the better forecast. They had to use the forecast that was obtained through the eWinds service. So that's an ex explanation of eWinds and an example of OpSpec A10 and how it can be very specific or non-specific depending on how the air carrier is set up.